Hi, and thanks for dropping by for another episode of Visual Art Photography Tutorials. But before we get going, what with the years ending and going into a new year, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you who have viewed the channel, who have subscribed to the channel, who have been involved in the channel. Much appreciated. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, maybe this is the first time you've come upon a tutorial, welcome. And it's also my wish for you going into the new year to for lots of happiness, lots of really good health, and lots of inspirational photography. So good luck to everyone. Now today, on uh, Neighborhood Photographer, I've got a pretty exciting tutorial lined up as we take a look at bare trees. Now, for a lot of us, you know, once the leaves have fallen, things become kind of unexciting. But you know something? Things get really exciting because bare trees can be great to photograph. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So what we're really trying to accomplish today is a lot of artistry, artistic photography. All bets are off, no rules. You just do what you think feels right. Okay, so artistic photography with bare trees. Uh, comments and questions can be addressed down below. Let's get started. Well, the beauty of bare trees is that we have a long season to photograph them because at the end of fall when they've shed their leaves and all through winter, even if there's snow and even early spring before the buds come out, um, you can shoot bare trees. So the season is long. We have lots of opportunities. And we can shoot them all sorts of different ways. We can shoot them from a distance. We can get up close, different treatments. We're going to show you some of that today. And at the end, <laughs> there's going to be something very, very special. It may not be for everybody, but it's lots of fun. Okay, so our first shot here of these trees, it's kind of minimalistic and it's everything's pretty much white except for the bare branches of these trees. And it's shot at 105 millimeters at F11. And I kind of like this treatment because I see the beauty in this. I don't know if you do, but I, I see the beauty in bare trees. I love them in autumn and other times of the year, but there's something just very minimalistic and very, um, I, I don't know what the word is for, but it's stark for sure, but there is beauty. You can also use trees, get up really close and use them as a window. And that's what's happening here. As I've come up close, I'm shooting at 35 millimeters uh, at F16 and I'm shooting through and I'm, you're seeing the branches in the distance that are hanging over and I'm using the trunk of the tree and, and big branches as, as a window, as a frame. So you can try that too. Or how about this? Getting up really close again, 16 millimeter lens at f16. And what I've done here is I've made sure that I've exposed for the bark because I really, really wanted it to be clear. I wanted you to feel the texture. You, you actually just want to, to reach out and touch that bark. And that's what I was, I was hoping for anyway. And of also by getting up close, you really feel, don't you feel the weight of the tree coming at you. It's almost like it's pushing out at you and it's almost falling on top of you. Very, very heavy. You start to see the enormity uh, and how massive the tree is. Classic. Okay. Um, we've all seen this before where you stand there and you point your lens up, wide angle lens. I'm shooting this 24 millimeter at F8, aperture of F8 to encompass a lot of this. And you know, it's, I like it. It, it, it shows all of these trees leaning in kind of dynamic. And if you want to shoot really straight up, it'll look like this. Okay. So that's exactly straight up. This one up, but not quite straight up. It's a different effect. It all depends on what you want to try to convey and, and the feel that you want. Here, I've let the tree almost go completely to silhouette and that is to give it an almost gothic feel and a feel of weight. Again, you get that feel of weight and it's dark and it's a bit mysterious and it's heavy. And that's what I was trying to accomplish with this anyway. And I was up close to this tree again, 16 millimeters F16. Now 
maybe you don't want it to be so heavy and so massive, and maybe you want a more gentle feel. So you go for something like this. You just kind of peel away and isolate a little part of a, of a branch. 150 millimeters, F11. Okay, just very gentle. It works with snow. If you've had a little bit of a snowfall and it's coming in with a bit of a wind and it's sticky and it uh, adheres to some of the bark, it can be rather nice too. Okay, so we've gone through all of that, but here's one of the other classic shots of bare trees. Here it is right here, okay? Now, find the way it is, and for all intents and purposes, my shoot is over. But, you know, sometimes you sit with yourself and you think, oh, I'd like to try something a little bit different. So I took this into uh, a program called Topaz Simplify. Okay, Topaz Labs is the, uh, is the software. And they have various softwares, and one is called Simplify, and I took it into that just to have some fun. It's not for everybody. Like I said, this might be where you want to end it or maybe some other place, but I felt like doing something a little different, so I took it into Topaz, came up with something quite abstract. I mean, you get the idea there's trees, but it's very abstract. Another treatment, like this. And then I, I went up and I just cropped one little spot up here to get a pattern, a very, very abstract pattern. You can use it for it for lots of things, for uh, some kind of a print, uh, even for, you know, not going to say necessarily a wild shirt or clothing, but you get the idea. It has It's very flexible. You can use it for lots of different things, and you can go into any area in, in here and, and crop it and get something completely different. But just for fun, little extra time, little spare time on my hands, wanted to fool around and came up with something like that. I really hope that gave you a different look at the possibilities of creating images with bare trees. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.